In John 16, verse 24, it says that your joy may be full. How many times has your joy been full? I know that many times we've had a little bit of joy, a temporal joy, a joy that lasted just a little while, but how long has it been since your joy is in filling your mind and body so much that you can't stop smiling, so much that it is overflowing you? In those days, you look back on, on your life, and you have to say that they were the greatest days that you have ever lived. Well, those days don't have to be extraordinary. They can be something that you experience more often. You just have to call it into place. Are you one of those fortunate people that possess a naturally happy disposition? Then, if you are, consider yourself blessed by God. Or, do you consider yourself an average person with good days and bad days. Perhaps you even may fall into the last category of a moody person. A moody person that gets uh, periods of depression for no particular reason. Whether there is a particular reason for feeling that joy has deserted you and gone away, or whether you recognize your down feelings as a mood, there is something that you can do about it. You can be lifted out of depressed feelings, but you must put forth some effort on your own. This entails an act of will. When you know that it is God's will for you to be happy, that is a huge start. And then if you're not, you realize, well, perhaps I'm the one standing in the way. And you have to realize that you need to work on yourself to give yourself positive affirmations of joy. Here's one, and I invite you to use it all day long. Now you write it down, and you say it as many times as you need to. Eventually, the mind, your mind, will latch on to it and accept it. Today I am filled with the spirit of joy. Today I am filled with the spirit of joy. Now that's a locomotive thought, and you'll have a train pretty soon, and it will be going around in your mind with other thoughts attaching to this positive locomotive thought. And I ask you to say this as many times as you need to say it today, to bring up your enthusiasm about this. To realize that you live from inside out, not from outside in. You're not constantly looking around you to see whether the day is going to determine your mood. You're going to determine your day by your mood. And you know inside of your faith that this is going to bring you guaranteed results. Because thinking in terms of joy, you stir up the spirit of joy in you that is absolutely inherent from God. Today, you are filled with the spirit of joy.